So how's it going guys and welcome back to another video channel channel. Today's video guys is going to be the first game this season for Luton where we are at home to Birmingham City. It's a massive, massive game today. Obviously after having a really good pre-season, being undefeated, Luton are looking to get three points today, especially because we are at home as well. Birmingham, uh, a team that's predicted to go down this season, obviously also Lee Bowyer. I don't know how many of their players from last season are still at the club, but we should be getting three points today from my point of view. I think Birmingham are definitely a beatable team. And after last season of them beating us 5-0 and 4-0, we need to get our revenge on Birmingham today. Obviously, I'm hoping we can see some new faces uh, starting for Luton or coming off the bench. Obviously, we saw a few of them in pre-season. The only pre-season game I went to was West Ham. And a few players that we did see were likes of Alfie Doherty and Cordy Woodrow and Carlton Morris. And they all did perform quite well. So high hopes today. And I'm hoping as well I can get a new kit. This is the last season kit. I'm still hoping to try and get the third kit or the home kit. Because at the moment, all the Luton fans are buying them and they're selling out real quick. So guys, that's third year. Let's get straight into this match day vlog. My dad will not be in it today, unfortunately. I don't think he'll be in the next one either because he is in Australia at the moment. Instead, we have got my sister who's coming in as a sub today so sorry about that he'll uh he'll probably be watching australia anyway but without further ado guys let's get straight into the vlog coming as see how today goes so guys we're in the stadium now we're going to quickly say a lineup so we've got Eaton Clover, the Nottingham Forest lonely keeper is in goal and the back line of James Bree, Ben Dunpots is playing as a centre half alongside Sonny Bradley, Gay Osho and Mari Bell playing on the left, then we've got midfield for Alan Campbell, Luke Freeman and Jordan Clark and I believe our attack is Carlton Morris and Elijah Rada Bell. So obviously Courtney Woodrow has got 15 players in the bench, neither is Cornick, so they can jump to me at full play in the new man Carlton Morris, new number nine for Luton and that's a player. I'm quite happy that midfield, Luke Freeman's back, I think he was injured so he's playing in the midfield, very attacking midfield alongside Clark, but obviously Alan Campbell and the back line is fairly solid, I'm not too uh, Sure, about parts of that, he's really ready for the championship this season. We'll just have to see how it goes. It's not a bad team for today, so it's a quick score prediction. I reckon we're going to win 3 1 to Burn. I haven't really seen that team. They've got Troy Deeney playing over the weekend. Beat him, bear in mind he's won more. So, it's quite much more score prediction for today. It's about the energy, it's straight to the bottom, you guys. Let's see what we do against the Spiders. Very well, which they have done. I mean, personally, with the attack of Elijah and Bay and Carl Morris has really worked today. So, hopefully, they can do some switch up and bring on Cordy Woodrow and some other players off the bench. So, I've heard just straight in the second half. Hopefully, Luke can get that goal when this game is coming out. Let's see how we do. Shoot! That is going to be the end of today's video. Hope you have enjoyed them. Currently, my garden doing the outro, and it's the day after the game. I'm sorry I haven't got this up sooner. I did go out last night. 
and I didn't have the time to put up the video until now but I've still got it out and overall if I was to review the game I thought it was a game that you should have won personally we have countless chances in that second half as you saw from the clips I did record and we should have really beaten Birmingham I mean as a whole if I was to rate them as a team I would say their fans could have been a bit better no offence to any Birmingham fans watching I didn't really hear too much noise from the away end at the Oak Road end and as a team defensively they were really strong to be fair to them they had some real good players that I'm going to list briefly now. Obviously, Troy Deeney was... I'm sorry, he was awful. He did nothing for Birmingham all game. Weird he had the number eight. Luton gave him a lot of stick. And apparently, he was blowing kisses as he was coming off to Luton fans, obviously, because he's former Watford. But he literally did nothing the entire game. And he was, no offence, but useless, really, for him. But when I'm, obviously, trying to be respectful to Birmingham, I'd say the likes of Plechetta, who I believe is on loan from Norwich, I want to say, unless he's gone there on a permanent. He played really well down the wing. I thought uh, Sanderson, who previously played for the likes of Sunderland, and I think he was on loan at Birmingham, like, beforehand, he was very solid at the back and one player I really want to highlight was Colin the number two who was playing sort of as a right back in a way right wing back he was really solid as well and I thought he was a very good player and I didn't think I saw that much from Scott Hogan and obviously Ruddy and Gale made some good saves again another former Norwich player as a whole that is pretty much my recap of yesterday's game I mean a point's a point so you can't go too wrong with it but I would have liked Luton to pretty much win yesterday bearing in mind our team did play quite well I mean when you look at some of the best players Freeman and Jordan Clark were my main two that I really enjoyed watching yesterday uh, I think people were saying that Jordan Clark played a bit too defensively than he usually does but I think that kind of worked in some sense I think that a balanced midfield of Campbell Freeman and Breen Freeman was in my eyes man of the match he played absolutely brilliant yesterday real skillful and it was a real good debut for him in regards to the attack I don't think Carlton Morris and Elijah Hadabea had the best of games as well as the likes of Woodrow and Cornick who came on we just couldn't get that goal and then defensively I think we looked a bit shaky at times but I think the likes of Dan Potts who came into the team and the keeper I have to say Hovath had a very very solid game and goal so thank you for watching today's video guys hope you enjoyed again I'm sorry for the lateness of the video but that is pretty much the Birmingham game over and done with so hopefully we can beat him and get our revenge properly next time away at St Andrews and I won't unfortunately be going to Turf Moor next week for the Burnley away game but the next game I will be going to will be Preston at home I believe I won't be going to the cup game either against Newport so stay tuned for that thank you for watching as always make sure to like comment and subscribe I'll catch you guys all in my next video peace uh -huh, honey.